Hey there, Soul Shines! It's Michelle here. Creative Expressions Day. I'm so excited to be sharing with you what's in the works. Um, first off, I really just have to say thank you. In fact, I'm recording this on Thursday. I tend to record these on Thursday. And I'd like to kind of wait until closer to the end of the week before, uh, which is why I picked Thursday. It's kind of close to the end, but still gives me time to edit in things so this can be ready for you guys to watch on Mondays. I wanted to tell you guys how excited I am. So that's why I'm on my phone here. I wanted to look up. As of recording this, I have 213 subscribers. Thank you so much. I am so excited for you. I'm so glad you are a part of my magical family. <sighs> it's exciting. So I have made a decision. You know, it's hard sometimes as a content maker who is growing a channel to decide what to do, when to do it, things like that. Um, and one of the things is deciding whether or not to have giveaways, when to have them, you know, what milestone markers or whatever to have them at. And I had originally thought just because of my situation, I was like, you know, I may just wait until I do till I get up to 500 and then do, you know, the big celebration for getting my community tab and everything like that. But I have decided that we get to do one celebration before we get there. And part of that is because I have another couple of YouTube channels and one of them I've had for quite a few years, many years, and it currently has 125 subscribers. And that's, I think, the most it's had. You know how sometimes they kind of go up and down a little bit? So it's sitting at 125 and I was actively making videos for a long time and then I just kind of got I guess almost bored with it and I had been putting off making this channel for a while <sighs> part of it was am I going to be able to keep up with the ideas I'm going to be able to have enough to share and express with you guys and I'm finding that um, when you put your mind to it you can come up with ideas and you can you know keep going and keep creating and and if you don't have tutorials there are other things you can do um, I never thought when I was originally thinking of it that I could do any kind of podcast style anything and that's kind of what the creative expression videos are I want to I want to celebrate getting twice as many subscribers as I have ever had you know with my other channel and everything so before I I, so how do I word that? So when we get to 250 subscribers, I want to do another giveaway. After that, my next giveaway will be at 500 subscribers. And then after that, we'll see because, you know, maybe I'll do halfway between or maybe I'll do it every few hundred. I don't know. Obviously, I'll celebrate at 1,000 because that would be so stinking cool. Like right now, that number just seems so far away. Right now, 500 kind of feels far away, and yet, wow. I mean, I could be doing my giveaway in a week for 250. That's like how incredible it is, how incredible you guys are, and I'm just so excited for that. So, that's my like little channel announcement. Um, the other thing, it wasn't on my list to talk about, but I want to talk about it. There is this thing called life vision and in a life vision, there's a couple of concepts. One is you write out your ideal life. What do you want your life to look like? What kind of, you know, what are your goals and how does it feel when you get those goals and you write out this thing as if it already is. So it's very present tense. It's very positive. It's very focused on what you want to have. And, um, then the next concept is that you pick certain kinds of music that are known for getting past barriers in your brain. I feel like all music can do that. So as long as it doesn't have words and it makes you feel good, go for it. That's my opinion. But a lot of people will use like Baroque music or now there's so many like high frequency, like they pick frequencies or whatever 
pick music that makes you feel good and has no words. And then you're going to record your what you've written down. You're going to record yourself speaking it. You record yourself because you your voice is an authority for you. So listening to your own voice actually also gets deeper into the subconscious. So these are the things. You record your voice. You put them together with this incredible music that makes you just feel so happy. And then you listen to it every day. And um, I'm sharing this with you because one of them I did was for this YouTube channel and how I want it to grow and how much I love doing this channel and want to have the ideas and everything. <laughs> really? I I wanted to have ideas and things. And so I started, I, I made this a couple weeks ago, started listening to it. I have found that it is very successful for me in the past. So I was really excited to do this. And one of the things I said was that I had ideas, I have ideas for little, you know, new um, series of videos and, and ideas and stuff to share with you. And um, at the time of making it, I was like, this is kind of silly because I have no ideas. I'm barely, you know, coming up with videos for people and um, yeah couple ideas you know once I'm past the basics what do I do and that kind of thing and about four or five days after starting to listen to my thing I got the idea to do the Halloween little things I had the idea of you know I bought a box of popcorn so I could go give it and if you want to watch the ideas video I'm gonna link it up here I'm gonna actually link the Halloween playlist so anything that I put in there you guys can see there's currently two videos and I have been working on the third so I'm really excited for this and the, the part of this for me right now is I want to come up with little patterns to put in those I don't want to be you know doing somebody else's pattern for these little Halloween videos so it's been taking me a minute to be like okay is there a quick pattern I can create on the fly this has been so fun for me and it's part of what was in my recording. So I wanted to share with you that idea that you write in present tense, the things that you want. I kept mine as short as I possibly could and I was covering multiple areas of life and I think I've still got it under 10 minutes. And that was really important for me because when I've done it in the past, I've quit doing it because they were so long to listen to. So I was like, okay, how can I address these areas that I want to change very quickly? And one of them was this channel and growing this channel and loving this channel and um, having ideas for you. So I'm really excited for that. So speaking of ideas for you, let's go with into finished objects. I'm going to talk about my, my Halloween one because it's one of my finished objects. So this little guy, um, he will also, you can leave the bottom open and not stuff it and it is a finger puppet. Um, this little guy right here, isn't he so cute? He is my first Halloween tutorial and you can check that out in that um, playlist. He's so fun, little ghosties. Um, so this is one of my finished objects, uh, creating the pattern, making it, doing the video. It's all finished. It's all amazing. It was so much fun. Um, another finished object that, hold on, this is caught under and I'm hoping, oh, another finished object that there is a tutorial for, I'll link as well in the iCards, is the phone case. My phone is on a charger, but it just slides, it just slides right in there. I only wear it when I, um, don't have pockets, but that's why I made it, is so that I would have, um, something to wear when I don't have pockets. So you can um, see the video for that. Uh, socks. Of course I have a pair of socks finished, right? Um, I'm going to put a picture here because they are already gone from my house. I like to put the pictures over this one that gets a shine on it. But I like to put the picture here so there will be a finished object right here. Cute, adorable socks. They were so fast and fun to work on. I don't know what it was, but it was like I got into those socks and they just whipped them out. And I was like, these are so fun to work on. Other socks take a lot longer. 
and it's so funny because I just never know what the magic is. Maybe it was the colors, maybe it was because I really liked doing the ruffle and I knew I was doing a ruffle. I don't know, but I got them done fast. Okay, so the other thing is, is I posted on my Facebook a question asking what people would be willing to buy if I made them. Um, part of it is because I am considering maybe one day doing, you know, um, like a fair or farmer's market or something. I think it would be fun to do a booth. Um, but also I'm like, oh my gosh, can I actually make a bunch of things for that? Would it be worth it? So there's a lot of questions involved. But one of the persons said that she loves to have, she's like, I don't know if they're knitted or crocheted. I love dishcloths. And so I asked her to post or to send me pictures of her dishcloths. She has both crochet and knit. She loves them both. So I was like, okay, I will make them. She told me her colors. And so what I have done is I have so far two knitted dishcloths that I finished. I'm excited about them. Um, and I made two crocheted dish cloths that are really fun. I have yarn for more, so that's my plans, is to make more. She only wants to buy three at this time. So I wanna hurry and get all of them made up, let her buy, pick which three, she's local, so we can get together and she can like hand pick which three she wants. I will post the rest for sale. And I'm really excited about that. So um, that is one of my finished, finished objects, which takes us also into plans um, and current things. So let me tell you about plans. So these might give you a hint as to what my next holiday um, Halloween tutorial will be. These were my attempts at coming up with patterns. Um, I wanted to make like a tall and skinny one. And it's okay. Like if I put a jack-o'-lantern face on him and made another one. But I feel like the directions to make it were kind of crazy. He curls a lot. Um, so mm, I don't know. Then this one was an attempt to try to get it to be like different shapes to really look pumpkin crazy this one was also an attempt but also again like really hard for me to keep track of what i was doing so i do have one i made a cute adorable face um but i'm not going to show you i have um have him ready i figured him out last night so that i can make the video and if you're watching this after I release the video, it will be in the playlist. And if you are watching this before it, it will be coming out sometime soon. So I'm really excited for that. I really want to get more out because, you know, we only have Halloween is a week from the day this comes out. And I really do want to give you guys some more Halloween ideas. So I might depends on how fast I can whip them out. We'll see, because like I said, I'm creating these as we go. This wasn't something I planned ahead, it was just all of a sudden, this is a great idea. I don't know how many I can get done before Halloween. <sighs> I do also have an idea for a towel topper that um, I will not have ready for this Halloween, but um, I'm hoping that I can actually have it ready for like maybe the end of September, beginning of October next year. That would be, so fine. Let's talk socks. Yes, let's talk socks. Or should we can actually, before we talk socks, let's talk plans. Um, I, my plan, I've been thinking about it. I'm like, am I making gifts for people? Am I not making gifts? I feel like I'm kind of, I have so many things I'm doing commission wise, cause you know, this added a commission level to me, I'm still doing socks. Um, I'm doing tutorials for the channel. I feel like I'm kind of bombarded. I'm, like I said, still doing socks. So am I going to make presents for Christmas? I kind of don't think so, except um, my grandchildren. My I have two grandchildren. One is 
keep doing this. I know that for some of you, it's better if I do this. Um, old habits. Okay, two grandchildren. My youngest grandchild, he is two. And my oldest grandchild, she is four. They are so stinking adorable. And I was thinking it would be really fun to get them kind of a play dishes set where they have pots and pans and dishes and crochet them or knit them, whichever I feel like doing. Food. I want to make them food. I want to make them some eggs. I want to make some apples. I want to make different things. May not actually put meat in there because their family is vegetarian. Maybe fish because I do think they do fish. But um, I think it would be really fun to make some food. I um, So I'm going to see if I can do that. That's kind of my plan. Anyway, um, on to socks. Okay, so commission baby socks. The She wanted knee highs, and I tell you, it's really hard to find out when how tall to make this part. I did a two by two ribbing all the way around because I wanted it to be able to stretch around little baby's legs. The baby will be a year at Christmas time. Um, so, and she wanted to have, I don't know how well you can tell with the lighting, she wanted to have little nude colored heel and toes with the rest being white. And then we're gonna just have a little um, ruffle at the top. And I'm thinking I might make these long enough so that they can kind of fold down with the ruffle at the top. And then that way, um, if, depending on how tall they're, I'm, I, cause I'm, that's what I'm like, I don't know how tall to make them. I've kind of found a few patterns, kind of looked and guessed, so I kind of know how high I think they need to go, so we'll see how that works. But these are pretty cute. Did I, um, and then after this, I actually, I can show you the color. There's this color of yarn. It's a blush color. Um, I'm hoping that I can get the coloring to look. It's it, does look nude. It's not the same as this. This is more yellow, a tan beige color. This is a peach, like a, like really is a blush color. It's got pink in it. Um, and that the baby that this is for, she was born maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So she'll be about three months old or so at um, Christmas time. So I'll be making her some socks with those. So that's the uh, next project. Those are both commission projects. And that leaves one more commission pair of socks. So I will show you what I've got. These are the ones that I have to push myself. So I've got both of them. These are the ones that have just been sitting around. That's how far the toe is. These are the ones that I worked quite a bit on at the dentist office when I took my son to the dentist yesterday. As you can tell, it's quite a ways higher than this one. So I'm gonna put this one in my purse. Um, it's it's what I take to force myself to work on it. I'm like, I, it's the only thing I get to take with me. So when I was waiting for my daughter's concert to start, I worked on sock. When I was waiting for you know the dentist, when I took the kids for their checkup, yesterday when I took my son for um, fillings, I worked on it until he needed me to hold his hand. Um, he apparently has a gag reflex that I didn't know about. My kids haven't had a lot of cavities, which I'm grateful for, but he's got a few, so. Um, and hasn't had, had dental work since he had baby teeth and he's 16 now, so that's pretty awesome. One of my kids has never had cavities. Oh, so jealous, so jealous. Um, so for commission socks, I have the three pair left. The green and black ones that you just saw, um, these baby ones um, that are getting pretty close to being done. Um, I'm sure that I will get to show you the finished product on my next Creative Expressions. Hopefully, I can also hurry and whip out the, you know, the baby socks that she'll be newborn. She'll be three months. I'm hoping I can whip those out before the next Creative Expression as well. So if I could get those two socks done in the next two weeks, awesome. That would be so incredible. Then I could do this. Two weeks, three weeks. 
weeks, three weeks till the next one. Because I have two Mondays in between this to fill up. That's how it works. <sighs> I have the two boys. And of course, of course, the children in my life who have the biggest feet have the their birthdays in October. Um, <laughs> my son, who will be 30 um, this weekend, before you guys even see this, his birthday's the 23rd, so it'll be the Saturday before this comes out. That's so crazy to think about. His birthday's in two days. Uh, he's going to be 30. I don't know how that works since I'm only 29. But this is how far I am on his socks. It's got a 4 by one rib on the top and um, just obviously solid on the bottom. I really love how even though they are different socks, these gray stripes are lining up kind of the same. I think that just kind of adds a cohesiveness that is really awesome. Um, he wants shorty socks, so that's nice because once I get past the heel, um, I only have to finish off with a cuff and I'm done. Yay! So I, I'm trying to work on these, trying to make myself work on these with all the other things going on. It's like, how do I balance, create a harmony that allows me to get my videos projects done for you guys, get my commission projects done for other people, and get these presents done for people. It's a bit of a challenge. Then my 18-year-old, his birthday was a couple weeks ago, and uh, his socks I haven't even started, and he's got the biggest feet in the family. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully I get them done before Christmas at least, you know, that would be awesome. Um, so yeah, that's that's where we're at there. I got a lot going on. I have things that I want to do. Um, some of them will be projects here, and that's good because they don't help me get them done. <sighs> How do we keep up, guys? How do we keep up? Now, this is the message that I did want. I love telling you guys about the Life Vision. I think it's a really valuable tool. Tool. To help us get the things that we want it's a way it's kind of a way to reprogram our mind um, I'm doing beliefs ha how I believe about things like that I'm seen and heard and worthy and whole and good and righteous and all these things that I like on some level I'm like yeah I know it's true but there's also these doubts that come in and so I'm trying to make it so these beliefs are stronger than any of my doubts so that I can just go in and say yes I know this is who I am this is how I am um, I think it makes a huge difference in our lives so that's one of them the other thing is I have been watching um, Don the Minimal Mom and Diana her twin sister um, Diana is a very faith-based person she's my favorite person to listen to for Christian inspiration they have been doing a get ready for Christmas thing even though it's October they're like because some of these things need to be planned out. We want to actually decide, you know, what really do we want to do for Christmas? What are really our holiday plans? What matters to us? What doesn't matter to us? You know, what is there things that we can opt out of? Are there things that, you know, I still carry a deep hurt because my most important tradition, um, it's only a few years old and it didn't happen last year. And because it didn't happen last year, it hurts very much. So I, I've written a letter that I'm kind of sitting on. I'm going to edit it over the next few days and I'm going to send it out to the whole family. All of my kids, even those that live here, because I want everybody to see it in writing. I want them to understand how important this one tradition is for me. I think that and putting up a Christmas tree with lights on it, I don't even need decorations. I need the Christmas tree with lights, some awesome Christmas music, and this one tradition. If nothing else happens, I'm okay. I do need to do gifts because I'm a gifts person. I love gifts. They mean a lot to me and giving gifts means a lot to me. So there's that level too, but also I have a budget. Um, and I want them to be able to tell me what's important to them. So I'm opening up this conversation. One of the other things that they talked about was how 
important it is. And it's not new information. It's just like right in my foreprint right now because of that. Should versus could. I should do this. I should do that. I should do this. I should do that. Um, I could. I could, you know, finish up this video. I could finish these socks. I've committed to them and keeping my commitments import is important to me. So I do choose to finish these socks. I do choose to finish these socks. I do choose to finish these because I've made a commitment. Even though I could probably say, well, you only want three. I'll just give you all four for the price of three and I call it good and not worry about the others. I could do that. We'll see. Maybe I'll decide to do that. I'm going to give myself a few days to figure it out. And that's the thing is why am I shooting on myself? I could finish socks. I could say Zach doesn't care if I make him socks and just let it go. Or I could keep my commitment. And I really like that. I think that that's really important for us as creators because we get these ideas. I have a list of things I would love to make. I have a list of things I've committed to making. I have a list of things that would make my heart swell if I could make them. Um, and it's really easy for us to go into shoulds. I should make this. Um, I have a friend, I have a friend who's been crocheting nativities and um, she's been working it on it all year when she has time. And she's kind of given herself some deadlines. And I hear her catching herself saying, I should work on this and I should work on that. What if we said I could? I've often thought if we could remember to say that, we add so much power to our lives. Because when you do a could, um, like for today, my to-do list, I did a could-do list. And then I picked out some important things. And one of them was wash the pie tins. I did that. I was like... This is something that's really important to me. I will do it. I made a will do list. And my will do list had three things on it. And then I figured when I got those three things on it, I will pick some, another one or two things depending on the time and where I'm at. My second one was gather the supplies for the creative expressions. So that was meaning having all my finished objects together, having my works in progress together so that I could just pick them up and show you guys and once they're gathered together, it's really easy to take the next step, which was my third thing on the list was record this. Those were the things that I will do because those were so important to me that from my could do list that I was like, they became my will do. I chose to do these. So, and I think that's, you know, I took out should. There was no, I should gather my things. It was, I will gather my things. I made my will list versus my could list. My could list could do, could wa hand wash my dishcloth. I could tidy my room. I could knit on any one of these pairs of socks. I could make my pumpkin video. I could dye my daughter's hair. I could go through the Halloween decorations. I could decorate for Halloween. Halloween's in a week. I have very few decorations up. I could do that. Um, and I have a few more things. And so I really enjoyed like, what are the things that I could do? And then I looked at them and asked myself, what will I do? And it's not, it wasn't even so much of what will I do today? It was what will I do in the next little while? So for me, it was kind of like this morning. Um, what will I do before lunch or that kind of thing? So I broke, took my could do list and I picked some will do's. And then when I'm done making this video, I will probably choose to save editing, editing this video for tomorrow. And then I will pick some other will do's. If my daughter's ready, maybe I will dye her hair. I haven't chosen that or not, but I don't have the should. I should dye my daughter's hair. No, I could. I could dye my daughter's hair. Maybe I'll choose that. And maybe I'll say, hey, sweetie, I've got this list and can we please do that tomorrow? And that's what I love about the power of our words. Um, when we take things off of our have to's and should to's and make them into could do's and will do's, 
it makes a huge difference because when I say I will do it, it means I've made a choice and now I've committed to it. Just like I will finish these socks. I will finish these socks. I will finish these socks. I don't have specific dates at the moment for some of these. I would love to actually get these done by next Thursday. Um, I'm going to look at my list and I'm going to see. I want to do at least, I, this is my mark, that I will move up to here so that I can say, look how far I did today. Um, this is how far I did yesterday, I think was the last, yesterday or the day before was the last time I worked on these. And I wanted to give myself like kind of a, see how far I did? See, good job, Michelle. Um, so I'll move that marker up when I start on it. And I, when I work on it, I will want to get either half inch or an inch done. Um, and I probably will, will choose that. I will probably say today I will do a half an inch or more on these socks to help me get further. And then tomorrow I may say, Hey, I'm going to get to the length that I want to stop at. And then the only thing I'll have left is the ruffle. Like I may do that. And that's kind of something that I think is really important. Let's stop shooting on ourselves. Let's stop saying have tos. Let's start saying these are the things I could do. And these are the things I will do. I will decorate for Christmas because I love decorating for Christmas. I will have some kind of a Thanksgiving celebration with my family and I will have my holiday concert because that's my most important thing. Maybe, you know, we could go look at some lights. We could bake some pies. We could have a big Christmas dinner. We could have a small Christmas dinner, you know. Those are the things that I want to kind of evaluate, and that's what I've been thinking about. And right now, I have a decision to make about Halloween. It's been a tradition to go trick or treating every year. Um, it's actually in my divorce decree that my ex husband and I go trick or treating together, and every other year we pick the place. Last year, I went around in a wheelchair. This year, I do not want to ride around in a wheelchair. And honestly, I don't want to go trigger treating. So I might say I'm not going because I could go trigger treating and I could stay home. I could let the teenagers wander around with their dad or I could go with them. And that's the decision I'm getting to make right now about Halloween is what do I really want and um, let's let go of the should because the should says I should go because that's what we've always done. The should said they'll probably go trigger treating in my neighborhood, so I should go. Well, my t kids are all teenagers. The youngest is still young enough that he really loves going and they enjoy that time with their dad. And their dad loves coming down to our neighborhood because we have some pretty cool houses in our neighborhood and we know where the people are. Well, the kids know the path to go trigger treating as well. Technically they should as well because they've been doing it for years. So I don't actually have to go. I could choose out of it and I like that knowledge. Now I just get to make the decision, which will I do? So that's it. Um, some of you may be wondering how my dog is because I'm pretty sure that he had his surgery about the time I made the last creative expressions. Um, we tried taking his cone off. He did have the stitches removed. Um, they told us in a few days that he could take the cone off, but if he was scratching at it to put the cone back on, he scratched at it, it bled a little bit, so he's got the cone back on. Um, we're working on healing that up, and he's doing pretty good. He's gained quite a bit of weight, um, because he was looking pretty skinny. He wasn't eating a lot before the surgery, and I think that um, he's doing a lot better in a lot of ways. For a 12-year-old dog, he's doing actually quite amazing. So I'm excited for that. And I wanted to give you that update on our puppy. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
other updates. I don't know if there's anything else of super important consequence. My daughter's been working at a haunted house and she has been loving it and that's been a lot of fun. We're just living life like everybody, right? Um, remember to let your light shine through your creations and I will see you guys next time.